Okay, so now we're reporting on day two of our Montana trail riding uh, mountain stuff. And again, I think almost better stuff we found on the west side of 191 that we're on. And uh, I think we even found better stuff. Uh, did a, uh, quite a bit today, not as much as yesterday, so that was really cool. Uh, just amazing scenery. As you can see in a lot of these photos, really cool stuff. Uh, really fun trail riding. Uh, got in some clouds today. Came in. I think tomorrow is supposed to be a chance of thunderstorms. Would have been nice while we were here. But anyway, so really cool. Amazing scenery. I just, you can't get this anywhere else. You know, like Colorado, Montana, these kind of mountain trail rides. It's pretty amazing. It's hard to find trails that are smooth and not so rocky they just drive you insane and we found some a lot of that today which was really cool that is some really cool single track that was just great um we're going to turn this video over to some gopro of ricky and spencer talking about some of the things they liked on the ride yesterday with the the bikes they were riding today i got to ride the 350 xcf a lot more still an amazing bike i still prefer the 300 and so does spencer we were talking about it but the 350 with our 366 kit on that bike is just amazing the suspension's a little bit better on the kate on the 300 and i think that's one reason we kind of love it also as well so we're going to work on making the we have cone valve on that bike so we're going to put our kyb conversion get that done and put that on our 366 but anyway four stroke two stroke it doesn't matter what you ride if you can ride up here we we passed a guy yesterday on a old ktm 400 i think it was four stroke kickstart four stroke and he was having a great time he was really tall which helped i was jealous of his long legs and the tough stuff he could get right through no problem touching the whole way so we'll switch over to some gopro of spencer and ricky talking on their uh rides and what they thought and uh hopefully we'll check you out the tracker trail soon all right woohoo this is spencer on trail bike in Montana this is Montana video so the, I'm on the KTM 366 it's an XCF engine this was kind of the part bike you know um, Racer X shot it and it was just kind of a uh, we, we bought the frame from a dude we bought like ha huh, we bought like the engine and a few of the th wiring harness and all that and it was just a, a a mess of parts but we're riding a bike now that we were able to get running for way cheap you know and this bike is really good the engine is just so smooth and you know a lot of dudes don't love the air fork that these bikes come with but I've uh, been playing with them. I let some pressure out right now, and man, they feel pretty good now. You know, sometimes it's a little harsh um, feeling, but it's not terrible, for being honest. These trails are a lot of fun out here in the uh, big sky country, and. I'm really enjoying this bike. Uh, recently, like um, the other day, like three days ago, four days ago, I rode our um, KTM 450 EXC. And that bike's a lot of fun. Dare I say, better than this bike. That 450 is so smooth. And, you know, even without the linkage, the suspension is just awesome. But, this bike's a lot of fun. These trails out here are a lot of fun. Montana's really beautiful. If you get a chance to ride in Idaho or Montana, there's tons of stuff outside of West Yellowstone that you can ride that's you know relatively easy in a lot of ways for a lot of dudes I wouldn't say there's anything too hard and uh, 
super beautiful, super scenic, and a lot of fun. So enjoy this bike and enjoy these views. You see the switchbacks going up that one over there? Yeah, over there, just above the trees. Yeah. I was like, that'd be sick to train. And then they continue up going up the face of it. Yep. Nartown. town. Just a spine, you know? So we were down there in that valley, riding up. And now we're connecting it. Pretty dope.